Well, it started off great um, because on Monday night we had the passage off the House floor of the fix to the school resource officer issue. And, you know, you and I have been talking about this for weeks yes. and the the legislation and the content of it has been vacillating wildly over the course of that time. The reason why is because the Democrats have a huge problem within their caucus. They can't get their crazies to get on board with doing what the people of Minnesota want. And because of that, uh, ultimately, it was a green board, but for eight votes and all eight of them were Democrats. Oh, wow. And that's that's more than the majority that they have in the House. And that's why the fix landed where it did, affecting what it has because of us. They had to come to us and concede to us in order to make this happen. Will you get the same response on the Senate side then, sir, with just one well, needed be? And that's yet to be seen, right? Is okay. th But regardless, we've passed it in the House, okay. and now it's in the hands of the Senate. And so now if it doesn't move in the Senate, the Democrats are going to have to answer for that because our guys are ready to go. Like this yeah. thing could get passed right now. Why hasn't it? Every day that goes by that it doesn't get passed, that's a yeah. question that they need to answer. It needs to be posed to them. But why aren't you fixing this? You have the bill in your lap, right? Yeah. Um, and so that's been great. The The other great thing that happened is I, you and I talked at length last week about this uh, religious liberty issue, oh. the gender identity exemption in the Human Rights Act, and yes. the, the way in which the Democrats and the Judiciary Committee were just berating the entire faith community of Minnesota. Boy, did that blow up. I mean, oh, people really? people got off the couch like I have not seen since right. I took my oath of office. And we uh, this week, I believe it was Wednesday, it, that same bill was scheduled to be heard in the Senate, and it was taken off the agenda real quiet like. And really? uh, see, this is this makes me happy. I've been talking about. It. I think there's some apathy going on. Maybe there's not. Maybe people are getting off the couch. Maybe they push one too many buttons. I am. I'm happy to hear that. That's fantastic. Well, and here, the, the, this is why I'm so excited about it. I mean, I've genuinely be, been walking around with a pep in my step at the Capitol under a Democrat trifecta. Okay, yeah. um, it's because this is proof of concept. The success that we're having on these issues is the proof of concept that, one, you don't need to wait until the election in order to make a difference. There you you have an opportunity each and every day to make your voice heard and to and to cajole these people and leverage these people into doing what they ought to be doing. Um, nice. We don't have to wait every two years, every four years. We can make it happen today, literally nice. today. We can make it happen. Um, but also that that there's there the tide seems to be turning for our movement, as you state. I mean, this also was Super Tuesday this week yeah. and Donald Trump did extraordinarily well um, and outperformed Democrats in Minnesota. We had more people turn out to the primary in Minnesota that are Republican than we did as a Democrat. That's that's crazy. That's wild. And it portends of potential very good things to come.